Alright, so we gotta choose a party. I mean, these are the only ones that are really set up for a fight, so... This is kind of like the party members that aren't going to be able to participate in the fight are all tossing their energy over to the ones that will. All right, let's just do this. Okay, welcome to the true final boss of this game. And, well, it's a little bit weird because it's not a character that we have encountered at all throughout this game. I've seen not so much as a hint that this thing even exists. Even through, I mean, this is probably the third time I've played through this game. I've yet to, this is the first, I mean, you don't know who the hell this is. This is some sort of immortal being that has gone and is has decided that because we because Kuja was so evil and Kuja decided he was going to destroy the world that destroy the universe, destroy all of existence, that it is the fate of mortal beings to destroy themselves. And it's kind of a stretch of logic saying that that sort of like this leads to that, leads to that. And sort of like, um, I guess I don't really have any special abilities. Oh, I could jump with her. That all this hate and jealousy and all that kind of stuff are ultimately destructive. And the fact that humans, in just using the word humans, but not everybody here is human that these people, since they're immortal and all this fear and anxiety and all that kind of stuff, just leads to destructiveness. So the only way to really save them from themselves is to destroy them completely anyway. Flawed logic, stupid logic, it's the same kind of crap that the Reapers, stupid logic that the Reapers did in the Mass Effect series. It's, up, oh, up, oh, Freya's down, and Freya's back up. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but we do have an enemy that at least looks more physically intimidating than... Looks more physically intimidating than Kuja did. And that's honestly, I think, the reason why this character was included in the game. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Dagger's, um... Uh minied and frozen. I just counterattack a bunch of times, why don't you? Come on, start resin.
All these damn shockwaves. Enough of the shockwaves. There we go. Well, she's got stop on her, doesn't she? Well, about damn time you cast Kyrga. Yeah, I keep casting Shell for some reason. I haven't done any magic attacks yet, have I? I think that a much higher defense. Weird melted face. Good character design, though. I mean, it's got a lot of detail for a PlayStation 1 game. Ah, that's gonna be devastating, isn't it? Ugh. Ah, oh, well, to one character, at least. Oh, wait, Dagger's not moving. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, miss. Good job, Vivi. Hey, underwhelming. And this trance disappearing motion takes too damn long. Everything just takes so damn long. Yeah, that was that was stupid. I have to admit, the animations look pretty cool, but, I mean, still, they just take too damn long. Oh yeah, multiple elixirs. That's great. They're not being consumed anyway. Big crab claws. Cast a lot of stuff in rapid order.
Let's cast Doomsday. Damn audio bugs. <laughs> it's the emulator doing it. I was using PCSX 2.0.5, I think was the number, in the past. Well, actually, I started out with... Uh, well, I had a different emulator when I started because I was trying to go for the more, like, accurate graphical representation with all of the anti... without the aliasing and all that kind of stuff. Then after a while, I switched to... EPSXE, I think 2.0.5. This is actually done on 1.9.5 only because it was the one I had accessible sitting on my computer. I could have downloaded it and tried the, uh, gotten the latest version, but I didn't for some reason. Yes, keep casting that. This doesn't seem like a waste of time. Yeah, it's a waste of time. <laughs> None of these spells seem to be any good. At least the Idolins will uh, do the shorter casting animations after you've done it the first time, a majority of the time. I just noticed that the eyes in the rings around the room are, are um, opening and closing. I mean, it's a low, uh, low animation animation. It's only got like four frames or something like that. Never noticed that before. This is an unnecessarily frustrating fight. Oh wait, everyone's everyone's held up. Look at that shit. Up oh, Zidane and Vivi are out of it. That didn't do it. I don't have any softs. Yeah, that worked. Oh, maybe I do. Mega Flare just launched again. <laughs> I 
I guess a glowing enemy is a result of protector shell or something being up. Oh, the Don's trancing. As long as this ass remains conscious, I should be able to do a lot of damage. Good animations on that thing. Wow, that would did some good damage there. Should have done that more often. Ah, oh, here we go with this again. I guess they were kind of going for the same sort of thing that we saw in... With, like, Supernova and Seven and... What was it? Um, Shockwave Pulsar, I think it was called, in Eight. I mean, the animation isn't quite as long as either of those were, but it's still over the top, I think. Up oh, phrase raged. Ah, damn it. Oh, cast that right off, didn't you? Oh, I expected more healing out of you than that. Oh, Vivi's trancing again. About damn time. There we go, that's some real damage. And the fight's over. <laughs> 